What's up? Welcome to another video. I just reached 100 subscribers, so thank you for everybody who subscribed. It's been great fun. Hopefully you had found them interesting, entertaining, and helpful. And today I want to talk about how I ended up doing 5 a levels step and EPQ. So initially, obviously, I didn't plan to do that. Initially, I was just doing, wanting to do maths, both maths, physics, and computer science. But essentially, what happened was that towards the end of year 12, I wasn't sure I was going to get a good grade in computer science. And since I was planning to apply to Imperial, I knew they, I looked at the offers they were giving out, and I knew they gave out 40 level offers, which meant I would have to get a good grade in computer science, which I wasn't sure I could get. So I tried to drop computer science, but my school wouldn't really let me. So I ended up picking up Russian because that was something I could I could speak Russian already and I found it would be quite fun and useful to do something that was not a STEM subject. So that, and then I could get a good grade in Russian, which meant that if I got a four level off from Imperials, I would be able to meet using the Russian instead of if I messed up my computer science exams. Well, when I did get my Imperial offer, I specified that I had to get the grades in maths, birth, maths, physics, and computer science, and a 7 EPQ grade. So that obviously didn't work out as planned. EPQ, I was actually not planning to do. I was only doing it because my sixth form made everybody do an EPQ. I think most of the time EPQs aren't worth doing because it really depends. The grade you can get really depends on what title or subject you choose. So if you're doing a a topic which has lots of research on it, you can read it about it on the internet and you can reference it and do some like wishy-washy writing about it, then that's great. Obviously you can get good marks because you can talk about sources and so on. But if you're doing a more practical project or you want to do something without lots of lots of like papers on the internet about it, then it becomes really hard. There's also the fact of the fact that most universities don't actually care about your EPQ. For example, Imperial Computing and I think Bath care about EPQ but basically all the other rest of the groups, universities don't. So it's up to you. If you can think of a good topic, then it's great to do, but otherwise it's just a bit of a waste of time. The step is pretty self-explanatory. I did it because it was part of my Imperial offer. Now onto the interesting stuff. Do I actually recommend doing the five A-levels and extra subjects? Obviously it depends. EPQ very much depends on whether you find a good topic step, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it unless it's part of your requirements. And A-levels, it depends on what you want to do. Doing more A-levels does mean that you have, does mean that you can mess up, even you can mess up in more subjects. But other than that, I think that the most important thing is to really work hard on your supercurriculars because you'll be able to do what you want and universities will care about it if it's subject related, which means you can have more fun do something that's more impressive that you can maybe put in your CV or something like that and hopefully enjoy it more than doing extra A-levels. But if you can do extra A-levels, they can be quite helpful. So for example, the Russian A-level I did ended up being quite useful because I did Russian literature as part of it and some Russian history. And when I came to university, I was able to talk about it because some of the international students did the same literatures as I did. And I was able to have more context to some conversations the Russian speaking people had around me. Another really important thing to consider is whether the exams are coursework based or exams based. Because if you're trying to do four or more A-levels and they're all exam based, as you have all the exams at the end of year 13, then that's obviously not great because you have more stress. And on the other hand, you also don't want something that's where they're all coursework because coursework can take a lot of loss and loss of time. You probably want to balance it a bit. So for example, I can be your science wishes slightly more coursework based and then the other the subjects were exams based. And I thought it worked pretty okay. I did maths in year 12 so that I would have less pressure in year 13. And I think overall it was pretty well balanced. A workload for out for two years at sixth form. That's it for me for today. If you have any other video requests, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.